Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Strange and Wonderful Creatures. As always, we will be taking you to unique locations to find out about animals that you may never have heard of before. And today we find ourselves in the beautiful Kilderman National Park, one of the most picturesque spots in the whole of Tasmania and the only place in the whole world that is home to the elusive wombat squirrel. Joining us on today's expedition is Professor Owen Williams, from the National Institute of Tracking Wombats in Tasmania. Professor Williams is a world-renowned expert on this fascinating little creature and today he's going to be giving us a deep insight into how it lives in its own little world. Thank you, John. What can you tell us about this fascinating little creature? Well, the locals refer to it as the piranha of the forest. Really? I thought squirrels were docile herbivores. Ordinary squirrels, yes, but this particular breed is known for its ravenous tendencies. That is fascinating. What sort of food would you typically find in its diet? Typically? Mm. Let's see. Uh, mostly insects, small birds, rodents, uh, small mammals. Uh, so when they can, they will take down a much larger prey. So when they're in a family group, would they be capable of taking down a small goat or something like that? No, no, they are a solitary creature. Was that what I thought it was? Yes, that was the call of the wombat squirrel. And no, they are capable of taking down prey many times their size. I'm sorry, should we be concerned about their proximity? No, no, we're in no danger. They typically make many calls to ward off other squirrels. <laughs> so two calls, there's nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> Not at all. Just stand perfectly still, make no sudden moves and everything will be perfectly fine. <laughs> so after how many calls did you say that Professor? Professor? Oh, oh, fuck! many times its size. <laughs> 